dropped pass. Carpenter steps up in the pocket and goes down. The big fella, Cameron Jordan. His first sack of the season. And give Nate a chance again. Third down and one. Shane Vereen is the deep back. They give it to him, and Vereen has the first down. Another throw for Longshore. Sets up a middle screen. Oh, and he throws it to the wrong man. Heading the other way. A big play defensively made by Mike Nixon. Not what Longshore wanted at all there. Oh, no. I never saw him at all. First time in California territory for ASU. And Keegan Herring now into the game, and he is flattened. Good pop there. Brett Johnson brings him down. A little bit late in the game. Smiling somewhere. <laughs> Second down and nine. Herring back out of the game, replaced by Dimitri Nance. And Carpenter wants a bunch. Throws it underneath. Nance with the football brought down at the 37. Now it's head back. Uh, obviously, the day is still young. College football every week for the last couple of years. Upsets coming by the bunch. This would be an upset if Arizona State could pull off a win. Right now, they're just trying to get back into the game. Ball comes loose. Carpenter lost it, but it looked like Fanica jumped on it. Absolutely in the free and clear. A better pass could have been a touchdown. Yeah, yeah, corner fell down, and Nate Longshore's mad at himself because he had a touchdown pass. Botang was by himself, but Nate wanted to make so certain that he got the ball there that he kind of pulled the string on it. He didn't let it go. He throws it right to him. You see, he didn't get much behind that. He kind of shot puts it out there. There is the fall down. He's by himself, and he has to wait for that ball like it's a punt. Longshore with the handoff to Vereen, and Vereen muscles through for a good gain on first down. Zona Wildcat. Hey, Eric, let's go back. He was already in the act of throwing, and he expected him there with the screen flash, but he got caught up. Long short pass is complete to the goal line. He's in. Touchdown, Cameron Mora. This is just a mismatch. You've got a six foot four inch, 250 pound tight end against a small corner who uses his body correctly, shields the defensive back away. That's Carr, and makes a great catch on a nicely thrown ball. That's a mismatch. Good job creating the. Nance brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Darian Hagen with another good play defensively. Practice with the pads on. Longshore hands it off to Vereen. And Vereen out to the 26-yard line. A pickup of seven. Dexter Davis jumps on his back. Now I'll to get the ball back. Vereen has the first down. About equal amounts through the passing game and on the ground. Getting a blow right now. Running out of time. Longshore gets the playoff. Has a man wide open, and it's complete. Cunningham with another grab. Do you ever let me get hit like that again? Well, it happened right there. Brian Anger comes on to punt the football away. Fair catch is called for and made by Kyle Williams inside the 10. Third down and 15 from his own end zone. Carpenter's gonna have to get rid of it. He's in trouble. And just throws it away. It's Thomas Weber. Remember playing with a splint on his left wrist. Makes a nice clean catch and he's gonna get it away. That's really all he wanted. Sidquan Thompson from the 45 crosses the 50. Still on his feet. And he's brought down after a pretty good return. A punt. Check your local listings for the game in your area. Look at this. How often does this happen? The Wisconsin band, they're going to be silent tonight. They've been suspended earlier in this week. 
The band not allowed to play because of allegations of hazing, alcohol abuse, sexual misconduct. And this actually isn't the first time it's ever happened with the Badger Band. This is actually the second time in the last three years. I have a question for you about that. Punt team is on. Brian Anger back deep. Plenty of time. Oh, great special teams play. The ball is going to be down inside the two. Boys on special teams earning their scholarship. That was played perfectly. Was that Sean Katus? Yeah, I think it was. I think that was Sean Katus. It was indeed. Yep, he gets his back to the end zone. Doesn't matter if he steps in the end zone. It is the ball. As long as the ball doesn't cross the plane, that's a good play. He can stand in the end zone if he wants to, as long as he down the ball within the playing field. All right, Rod. Carpenter's pass over the middle is incomplete. Kyle Williams had it and then lost it with good reason. Orell Williams laid the wood. And Williams is a linebacker, but does a great job of getting deep. He gets a lot of depth, and he's back there to make a play. He's number one in the middle of your screen, just to the left. Now watch how far back Williams is able to get on this ball. He's not expected to be there, but he has great closing speed and delivers a big time blow on Williams. Senior Carpenter needs to make a play. Five receivers in the game. football Chris Conti the sophomore picks a great time for his first interception of the season he ate that route up Chris Conte is the nickel back he's playing the corner spot Thompson moves inside he reads a three-step action by the quarterback Carpenter and he ran a better route than his receiver